While the database mirroring session is on or started, let's try to drop the principal database or try to make it offline and let's see what happens to the mirroring session or to the database. Okay, so I'm going to drop the, and this is the principal server, and now I'm going to drop the principal database, and the drop is failed, because the database is enabled for database mirroring, so mirroring should be removed before we drop the database, so we cannot drop even that's the same scenario if we try to make it offline we cannot make it offline because this database is involved in mirroring session okay so now our next point is we're going to create a sql server agent job and let's uh, let's try to uh, do index rebuild on one of the tables in the principal database I'm going to create new table Okay, so now I have created the primary key on this column, added few rows. Okay, so I just uh, created the database index rebuild job. So if I run the job, it will run fine. Now I'm going to fail over the database to the mirror server. Now, if I run the same job, let us make sure the database failed over. Okay, so the database is failed over to the second instance. Okay, this is primary. So I have the job in the new mirror server. Okay, let's try to run this job.
it is successful let's try to run the job again okay so basically what's happening is it is uh, it is using the implicit client redirection and it is doing the index rebuild on this database okay even though we run the job on the on this server still uh, based on the mirroring session use, using the uh, using the database mirroring metadata catalog views it identifies now this is the now this is the server that is processing the database so let's go and do the rebuild on this table okay so implicit client redirection let's try something different uh, let's create a job to insert a few rows into table t2 Okay, so I have created the job. In this job, I'm going to insert a few rows into the table T2. Okay, I said uh, insert into table uh, values 10. Okay, I created the job in mirror server. If I execute this job, it will fail it says that the database is a mirror database Let's talk about next troubleshooting point, uh, how to uh, force failover the services on the mirror instance. For example, we have a bunch of databases that are mirrored and the principal server goes down and you need to bring all the databases, uh, force failover all the databases on the mirror instance. Typically, it would be better if you have a script that will loop through all the mirror database in that mirror instance. Okay and uh, do a force failover simple script okay i have already created that and let us uh, try that script in the troubleshooting uh, you know we might be needing scripts like that otherwise we have to just issue the force failover on each and every database that is our next uh, troubleshooting point uh, let's write the previous one that we discussed Right now we have just one database that is uh, mirrored 
let's create another database and mirror that too. Let's fail over this. And let us also remove the high availability, the witness server. Otherwise, uh, for our discussion, for this demo point, we don't uh, we don't need the witness server. If witness server is there, it is going to do automatic failover. Okay. So let us say the mirroring session is uh, high safety. Okay, high safety or asynchronous, whichever the operating mode that doesn't need witness server so we need that for this uh, demo point okay so let us say i have the database uh, mirroring for this database and the operating mode is high safety okay let us create uh, another database Okay, so I took full backup and log backup of this database. I'm going to restore the database on mirror instance. So now I'm going to set up the database mirroring for this database. Okay, so now we have two databases on principal server instance one that are mirrored to this server. Okay, these two are in high safety mode. And let us say the server goes down. Uh, but still, these two databases we wanted to bring these two databases okay but uh, since we don't have the high availability uh, the mirroring session is not uh, synchronous mode uh, synchronous mode with witness server so it's not going to be automatic failover so we need to manually force failover the services okay so force failover these two databases okay so we can execute the alter statement for every database but uh, typically if you have a bunch of databases that are mirrored then it's good to have a script i have created the script uh, let me show you that on the mirror server what it does, uh, it will uh, retrieve the list of databases that are mirrored. So even though we have many databases on this server, these are the databases that are mirrored. So it will get those databases and open the cursor, loop through every record and uh, issue this command, alter database force failover okay so I'm going to execute this script now you can see these two databases has come up and online available to the application even it's uh, good to have this script in a job force failover all 
mirror databases. Okay, we can have this as a job. Okay, in the event of uh, a disaster, if uh, the principal server goes down, uh, just uh, simply execute that job. Okay, we don't need to search for the script. Okay, so let us uh, create the script, the job script on the mirror instance one. Okay, since that is down, we need to restart it. So let us start the instance one. Okay, so now I'm going to create the job on instance one. Okay. I have the job here force failover or mirror databases okay so now here the databases went in suspend mode uh, let's uh, resume the Okay, so now the database mirroring session is synchronized and I have the and this is a SQL instance one that is the mirror server now. Okay, so now I'm going to execute the job as a job on the men on the mirror server. Oops, got an error. Okay, so we need to So basically uh, the mirroring session should be in disconnected status before we force failover Okay, so that is the reason why the job failed Now I'm going to stop the The principal server which is SQL INST2 in this case and I'm going to run this job okay so now with one shot you have the databases upon running on the mirror server that is the new principal server